So for now, hug this little guy super tight and cheer up, okay? Looks like she's worried about me, but she shouldn't be. It's my job to worry about her. She has work after. She has work after this, so she leaves. The root goes with her, probably to see Ferris. Before he leaves, Lukaku apologizes again for messing up the Lotus 6 ticket. He knows about the time machine now. Next time I see him, I'll make him a lab meme to secure his silence. So lab meme number 006, I guess. Mueka leaves with nothing more than a tiny bow. In less than 30 minutes, Kurisu and I are the only ones left in the lab. But we have a male, once again, shining finger. It was fun. I want to hear more about time machines next time, okay? It's a promise. See you, Mueka. She really likes sending emails. Hey assistant, you're not going back to your hotel? Is there a problem? Is there a problem? No, no problem. I was just wondering what you were still doing here. No, but I wanted to think about it. Nothing. I just wanted to think for a bit. Can you think of at your hotel? What? I think of at your hotel. What? You're kicking me out? That's right. I don't have friends with you. I'm sorry to go to the hotel. 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 Ah, I get it. You'd be lonely in your hotel room, but you have no friends. So you want me, the great Hyoin Kyoma, to look after you. Isn't that right, you spoiled slip set? You're the lonely one, aren't you? You've been acting gloomy all day. Do you need some advice? I'm an outsider, in a sense, so it should be easier to talk to me, right? Sounds like a little Man getting advice from a younger woman is kind of mumble mumble. But if you're fine with that, then just ask away. Why does she have to be such a smart ass? She even has a smoking, uh, a mocking, mocking grin on her face. I need to send some emails. If you insist on staying here, then be quiet and stay out of my way. Okay, zombie? All the stupid names, and that one's the worst. Despite her complaint, Kurisu makes no move to leave. She sits down on the sofa and starts reading a massive technical book. On closer inspection, I realize it's in English. Maybe my assistant isn't a genius, but just an extreme studier. Coffee or drink? Want some coffee? Morawa. Sure. I make some instant coffee for Kurisu. I take a fresh Dr. P out of the refrigerator for myself and sit down in front of the computer. Alright, let's do what needs to be done. I only hope this doesn't get undone too. My plan is to follow Susua's advice. Get in touch with Tider. After all, what I am experiencing right now could have something to do with the many worlds interpretation. Which would mean that the Kurisu sitting over there isn't the same Kurisu with whom I discussed, discussed the Lotto 6. And it would mean that this lab isn't a lab where we discussed it. How can that be? What's wrong with you? Stop fidgeting. Kurisu glares at me coldly. Damn it. She's looking at me like I'm a perv again. I keep telling her I'm not a perv. I'm Hyoni Kyoma. 
Anyway, why am I on? I the only one who remembers what happened. That's another question I'll ask that young tiger. I don't know if he's a real time traveler, but he did help me. Help with the IBM 5100, so I'm inclined to trust him. But what should I write? Should I tell him everything? In any case, worrying about it won't solve anything. Enough stalling. I take out my phone. Question. Thanks for the intel on the IBM 5100. The code is from CERN's database. Uh, in other news, I successfully built a machine that sends emails to the past. When changed, when we change the past by sending an email, does that change the world line? I noticed some events were undone. Does that mean the world line change, changed? You said the many worlds interpretation is correct, but I'd like to hear the proof, if you don't mind. A sigh and shag my sofa. Now to wait for his reply. I checked the at channel thread just to make sure, but Tyler hasn't posted, posted recently. That was a pretty heavy sigh. Kurisu says without lifting her eyes from her book. Maybe I should tell her about how that email changed the past. And about how she seems to have lost her memories about it. Why am I considering talking to Kurisu? Because I don't think Mayuri and Daru would understand this problem. Kurisu, on the other hand, might be able to form a hypothesis. That's what I hope. So let's uh, say it then. What? Just then, my phone rings. Is it Tyler? No, it's Daru. Hello? Okarin, I made a terrible mistake. Miss? Mistake? Is it about the phone wave name subject to change? Is it related to the phenomenon I experienced earlier? A gulp. I know it's pathetic for a mad scientist to show anxiety, but I can't help it. I lick my dry lips and wait for the root to speak. Actually, I left my wallet at the lab. No! What? I can't go to May Queen like this. Can you bring me my wallet? I'll buy you a drink. Go jump in the river! <laughs> I shout and hang up. Damn it, I got stressed for nothing. Uh huh. But right afterwards, my phone rings again. And this time it's my Yuri. Yeah, I'm not delivering your wallet, okay? She didn't ask any questions about what we just said. Oh, it's you. You're with Daru, right? You don't have to lend that dumbass any money, okay? Um, okay. So, Ocarine, I was wondering if you shared up. Did you hug the oop? Hug Upa, like I said. Stay nice. No, I am a mad scientist, full of madness and ambition. 